protocol. You've been in Ghana for the past five months. Generally, how will you describe your experience in Ghana? Has it been an exciting one, interesting one, challenging one? Or, I mean, it's an experience that you wouldn't like to remember. <laughs> we have to remember all the experience, uh, even the bad experience we have to remember to try to change in the future. Uh, Kotoko, for me, it was a uh, fantastic news. I remember Kotoko when I was national coach. But uh, the relation with the clubs in that time, 17 years ago, it's not, it wasn't a strong relation because I was national coach. I'm dealing with players, not with the clubs. Uh, but everybody knows Kotoko is one of the biggest clubs, not in Ghana, in Africa. They have a strong history, really epic history. And uh, when you have a chance to come to handle, to manage a club like Kotoko, of course, it's a, it's a very excited moment. So one of the, the information I get before I come here that Kotoko are trying to build and trying to return back to his glorious past. And uh, this make me say, it's okay, let's try, let's accept the challenge. And that was the main reason I accepted to come. And I'm not uh, disappointed at all, because I knew that we will face some problems. I knew that uh, in four months uh, it was not easy to understand everything, because football is a process. Football is not, uh, we come here, open the bottle and drink, and it's enough, and go home to sleep. Football depends for many things. It depends of everybody. It depends for the players, depends for the situation, depends for the organization, depends. Everybody has to work together to get the target. And when these things happen, the way to get the target comes more easy. I'm, uh, I'm teaching coaches in the, when they are uh, in the coach education to get this level. And one of the things I'm telling them is, if you don't have clear ideas, you will depend only about what you are doing today. But if you have a plan, what happens today can help you to understand how you have to make tomorrow. So you should have a plan, you should have a program to follow and to get the target. So when I, uh, when I, the first, first days when I came here, I saw a very interested team with uh, some players who would like, and they, they did it. They work hard. They try to, to get our targets. And our target is trying to win each match and thinking always in the next match, trying to get one of the biggest target of the, of the, the board and of the management, that was the winning the league. So we, they work hardly. I don't have any reason to, to criticize anyone. I'm talking about my players. So they did his best. In the end, what, what I can say? I say that we fight for the title till the last three games. After a hard match, because we didn't want it that much, we lose it. Everything becomes different. And suddenly, we made 17 match before hearts and we have lost only one. And suddenly in the three consequently match, we lost two and we drew one with King Faisal. And everything becomes like a tragedy. And this is the analysis we should make, and I already made it. Because we have to learn what we didn't do well. When I say we, I'm saying we, staff, technical staff, the players, and the board. When I say the board, I'm talking board and management. management. Because here in Ghana, the organization is different. In Europe, normally we say the board. The board means the decisions makers. 
and we have to take the the, the right uh, signals to try to change that something happens this year cannot happen more. Why? Because we have to fight to preserve the history of uh, Kotoko. Kotoko is the team in Ghana have more supporters. It's, it's very interesting when we travel any place there are Kotoko fans. It's the bigger club. And the bigger clubs depends for his history, but depends also the way is implanted in the country. And any region of Ghana have supporters of Kotoko. So we have to respect these things. What that means? That means when Kotoko participate in the league, his supporters only looking one thing, win. But you to win, you have to create the right, you have to handle the tools to give to the team the right possibility to fight, to get what all the supporters are looking for, is the win. And what I'm telling my students is this. If Ghana invited, for example, I'm talking now using the name of Ghana, inviting 18, they make a replica, and they're inviting 18 Guardiolas. In the end of the season, only one Guardiola will win, and there are three Guardiolas will be relegated. And this is a fact. What I want to tell with, uh, with this example, that normally I spread with my students, to win is not enough. You bring a coach and you have only the players. You need more than this. You, have, you should have a project. And the project is not for two months. It's a long-term project. I remember when I came to national team in Ghana, the, the man who had this vision, the name was Ben Kufi, was the former president. And when he came to me, he told me, coach, Everybody knows Ghana have a good players, but unfortunately, we never was qualified. We don't understand why. I meet with him in Paris, and I told him, look, I will give you a small example again. Sorry to give this example, but it's trying to explain the people. Okay. And I give the example, look, I told Ben Kufi, look, I worked 10 years in Sporting Lisbon. Portugal is a small country, we are, we are only 10 million, not more than 10 million. And Sporting Lisbon is one of the biggest reference in Portugal. Sporting Lisbon normally have a big problems to win the league, but is the bigger club in the relation of forming and okay coaching players. is the only club in the world have two golden ball players, Cristiano Ronaldo and Luis Figo. Figo. And this happens because I was there 10 years as I saw what I told you. They have a program, they have a project for long term. Starting with the youth teams, for example, last year there was a champion in Portugal. They start in the youth teams. They create a philosophy. All the players know what is sporting. And they, till the end of his sports life, they talk about that. Okay. They feel what, is, what means being sporting player. What is the target of the sporting players? Is win, is work every day to be better in the next day. What is his target? is play in the main team. So when they are eight, under 18, under 16, his target is to play in the under 18, to after go to play in the under 20, and after to play in the main team. And the philosophy is the same. So all the coaches there, they are working to help the boys to grow, to become top players. 80% of the players, a few years ago, playing in the big teams in, the, in Portugal, 
they become from Sporting Academy. So, I'm giving an idea about what I told Ben Kufi. So, Ben Kufi, you have good players. Why they don't win? We have to create the philosophy in the national teams. So, Aladi Maikano was one of the guys who helped me. Because most of the people say, oh, Coach Barreto, make... No, I didn't make nothing alone. I make it in the, in the work team. Nobody can make it alone. It's a collective and effort a put collective together to achieve a when, set target. Exactly. Okay. And when okay. everybody yeah. are fighting with the same collective spirit, everything comes okay. easy. So we select some young boys that you show a few moments ago, yeah. some of them, because there was more. And I told Ben Kufi, let's select some players. Because when I arrived here, Ghana have lost the three first match. So everybody are saying that we didn't have any chance to qualify. But we qualified. And the last match we win in South Africa. Uh, Prof, playing, you, you dwell playing, on the national assignment. Yeah. You want to, I have about 108 questions related but to Kotoko. Let, only to explain you what is yeah. uh, uh, bringing these things for Kotoko. Because yeah, sure. this make all the you sense. To, uh, yeah. Uh, like transfer the, the templates exactly because nothing changed you understand it's the same so we invest and the the the, the board in that time was ben kufi and supported by the deputy minister rashid bawa they support this idea and we work deeply in this idea and with this boy we work during long term okay. we make camp outside so regarding kotoko what i'm talking kotoko is was a big name is a big name but i know some supporters of kotoko will be not happy what i will say after but kotoko in this moment you cannot say it's a big team it's a big name to be a big team you have to have infrastructures you have to have your own things you have to have your youth academy this is what makes you a big team and kotoko have everything to be a big team but if i understand i understand kotoko supporters they want win but they have to understand to win you have to create the environment the everything from no, the base you as not, a coach and the players not from the roof we have to create from the foundation from the foundation okay. and this takes time and if you are not patient if you don't understand these things you are losing your time you are hiding the reality and you never will be a big team look the big teams in around the world if you don't go to europe look in africa okay. go to south africa is one of the big biggest countries investing in the development you look how a Kaiser chief organized. Okay. Prof, you understand? I, I, so this is what Kotoko have to try to do. Look inside, respecting the past. Cannot forget the past, cannot erase the past. But in memory, in the memory of the past, have to start and singing. Let's start again. Starting again is not every year bringing two, three coach by season, bringing changing 16 players every season and because you don't win send all them away away and bring another 16 no is starting work in inside of the club inside the club means infrastructures means academy means creating the spirit about kotoko culture okay bringing and putting inside former players former coach where they are they should come, they should be involved in this structure. You understand? Yeah. Don't make sense. I'm the coach in this moment. And I say, I want 10 players and I give you 10 names. After someone of the board say, we have more five players and you mix all these things and you want to make a team. These don't make any sense. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll ask two quick questions and then my colleagues will come in. Um, but I didn't finish, but it's okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but the audience, they have understood you. Yeah, uh, we are, we are having a discussion with the head coach of Asante Kotoko, uh, Professor Geronimo Mariano Barreto. We are touching on a number of issues. Coach, uh, brief ones. You, you, you work with Kotoko. Allow you? me to finish because it's the first time you invite me here. Okay. And uh, during all these four months, I don't have social media, but I have 
good friends here. And most of the time they are giving me information what are talking around, of course. And for me it was funny. Many people are talking and they never come to me asking why. Why you did this? Why this happens? No, but talking about this. For me, the media, the press, it's one of the important things in the societies. They help so much the development. But when we start spreading fake news, this is not the best way to help the society because you are confusing the people. Because we know how some people are doing. They're planting fake news because they won't get some they won't try to put the, the vision for other place and not for the reality. So let me finish what I'm talking. Okay. The other things Kotoko have to think is creating his own department of scouting. So we are talking about the future plans of Kotoko. Of course. That can make Kotoko the Kotoko you all, you oh, all want course. it to be. Because if Kotoko don't think in the future, not but, with but, me, but we'll with me, that. we are talking about but the experience to finish. Have okay. It's only to finish this. If, when I say you have to involve the former players, the former coach of Kotoko, they can help because why? They have the culture of Kotoko. They know then everyone what is being Kotoko players. You understand? This is the most important. And they are not here. I talk with some of them and I ask you why you are not here? You should be involved. How? It should be created a board of scouting and these people should be involved in that. Why? To look good players. They, because they follow these, these games. Under 20, the second teams, the first division. When I say second teams means first and second division. And they know, I don't understand why I play many match with the first and second division teams. And when I play, I say, wow, why these boys are not in Kotoko? And this, for me, it was very strange. And this board should be one of the tools who could help Kotoko to be and become more stronger. It's okay now. Okay. Uh, we are having a discussion with Mariano Barreto. Uh, Prof, you've had you, you've had uh, an experience with the Kotoko team. You worked with the team. You've coached the team for about five months. With regards to the four department, months. four months. Okay. With regards to the departments, i.e., the goalkeeping department, the defensive uh, department, the midfield, and the attack. Which of these departments do you think we have to beef up moving into the future? <laughs> I don't want to discuss publicly what is the private interest of Kotoko, of course. There are some things I can discuss what I did, what is the ideas I think uh, is the best for, for the Kotoko. Uh, Kotoko has, I start talking, have to try to, to fix a target. A target is not, we have to win the league next, next, next season. The target is we have to try to win the league next season, but we have to try to make Kotoko a strong team during these next three or four years. This should be the target. Of course, a club like Kotoko have to try to win every year. Okay? But if you always are looking Kotoko to win this season, you are not preparing the future. Because if you don't win, Every world, everything will fall down. And I think this is something the people have to look very seriously. This because set a realistic target. Of course. Look, I arrived in the, in the Mars. I didn't know that Kotoko didn't have infrastructure for training. Okay? I didn't know. I knew that we normally supposed to play in the national stadium, but it was in the works, re renovation works, and we are playing all the match outside. This is not excuse. I knew that. So when we knew the reality, we cannot bring this reality for excuse because we knew it. So we have only one way. We accept or don't accept. I accept it. So for me, this is not excuse. But when I check that 
in our daily works, we don't have the basic things. Even me, I have a right to bring it like excuse. I'm not bringing this like excuse. When I said, Kotoko, like a big team, cannot work with this, this is not excuse. This is the reality. Because I, some, I heard someone, oh, but why coach talking this uh, uh, long time? Okay, so I will go to Real Madrid and Barcelona will tell them, hey, I discovered one good thing. You don't need facilities to training, you need only a pitch. It's a stupid question. When the coach say we need infrastructures, it's because this help the daily training. Look, we have injured players. We don't have a physio room. Tell me where they will be treated. <laughs> In your home? No. In my home? No. The secretariat. Where is the secretariat? You've not been there before? No. The Kotoko secretariat? There's no way. You don't know where it is? No. You've not been taken to the secretariat? No. Wow. What's You've been wow? here for four months and you don't know where the Kotoko secretariat is? I know it's in the stadium. No. Not in the stadium? So I don't know. <laughs> you see? <laughs> wow. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> um, uh, at this particular moment, let me allow my police to come in. Delali, let me begin with you. Okay, so... Um, you just come in with your first set of questions. I see you have yeah, 98 yeah, yeah. or so questions. Just but, come with the first set uh, of but questions. Don't, don't make me easy questions. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, um, you did say that um, the last three matches to the season was a tragedy. That's not the first time you've said this. I think it's about the second time you have said this. I want to know, what did you observe in those last three matches that make you feel that it was a tragedy? Look, uh, when I say it's a tragedy, I think it's not uh, really the right word, I should say. What I have to say is it's an unbelievable f fact. It cannot happen. Because it's not possible. We play 17 matches before Hearts and we have the performance that we had. I remember that one of the best games we made was with Midyama and we lost 2-1. Yeah. But we are winning this game 1-0 and we are playing very well. I was in the bench and I told Johnson Smith, Johnson, today this boy, will, we will win this match for two or three. But suddenly we take a goal from long distance. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Okay? From long distance. It's happened sometimes. But unfortunately for us, after this goal, everything changed. And we lost this. For me, it's one of the key moments during this four months I'm here. Okay? So unfortunately we lose. But we recover and till heart match. Even yesterday I saw heart match and I was surprised with some people who say they are legends talking that uh, Kotoko, Kotoko should lose for three or four. It's a completely lie. The boys played very well. Even the last minute of first half, Gama have a chance to score. He didn't score. Asma, in the free kick, have a chance to score. He didn't sco score. And Ukra, in the last second, uh, minutes of second half, have a clear chance to score, to equalize. And he didn't score. Because he don't want... No, because he didn't score. It happens. Ronald sometimes have a clear chance and he didn't score. So, when I'm talking about these three matches, it's comparing with what we did till then. I know my players. We know what's happened in the last three weeks. We know that. We was that. And it's not only me who knows. The board also knows. Okay? So about this, I don't want to talk publicly, okay? But when I say these things, it's because there are clear evidence that something strange happened. And I told this publicly because it's easy to check. You can go to the, to the matches and you see the behavior of some people there. And I'm not talking only the players. Look, in the Bichet match, in the second half, in the second half, a Bichem game. Bichem game. Okay. Yeah. In the second half, was played 
30 minutes. 30 minutes. There was five changes. According to the rules, each change is 30 seconds. The compensation. I say five because I, uh, I was not in the bench. I was in the, in the stand because I was punished. And this is another question yeah. I would like to talk. Uh, so five means extra time, 2.30 seconds. Okay, two minutes and a half. Only for the substitution. But the game stopped more than 10 times. Some of the times was more than one minute. Easy to check. You can go open the video and look the game. Why was only three minutes extra time? When we saw some matches in the Ghanaian League with eight and ten minutes extra time. You understand? So this is one of the answers for, for your question. But there are more questions, more, more answers. These answers I already told to the authorities. But they know if they want to, this is what I said, they have to investigate. In the, in the event that the FA takes it up and they are investigating and they invite you mm. uh, to produce some information, do you have any... I already, I already informed that. Okay? And what I'm saying is one of the information that everybody can get. It's easy. It's easy. One of the, the things, if you are working in development, look, when I'm talking about these things, it's because I care about your uh, Ghana football, because I'm here. It's our image also. It's my image. I'm here. Look, there was some players of Kotoko, some foreigner clubs are looking for. They are talking. They asked me, I told some players, look, try to make a good end of the season, because there are some players, they want you. They will evaluate the team. But when the news comes outside that there are match fixing, match fixings, you think any European club will take players who belongs for this kind of uh, tournament? No. This is what's happened. And this is not good. If you want help the development in Ghana, let's work in the right decision and don't lose time with peanuts. You have to work coaching good referees. You have to work have a good coaching education for the coaches. You have to work to have a good infrastructure for the trainings for your boys. Given, we give, giving a chance for the youth guys have a chance to play. Look what's up, look what happens in Kotoko. I have only one player under 20. He's the main player now in my team. Apau. And this Apau. If there are more, sure, I will give him a chance to play. This is what I make with the national team. This is why I make the introduction before. Okay? How long Ghanaians are not invited to play in Europe? Do you remember one player in the last five, six years was transferred for European clubs? This is what you have to think. Why? If you have a good talent, what happens? What's going on wrong? I'm only four months here, so it's not because of me, sure. And this is the main question you have to try. And I told these things. I was punished because I said it's difficult to play with 11, it's more difficult to play against 13 or 14. And I was punished for 3,000 cities and two matches. I saw the behavior of some coaches and I didn't saw I didn't see any punishment. Well, Why some, I was some punished? Co some coaches were punished. No, no, no. Uh, but, Rich, but, Rich of um, Dreams FC, he was punished. Yeah, but... Uh, uh, and a couple of others. Do you know anyone who was punished for two matches and 3,000 CD? So... I, I was end up on the offense. So my offense is the worst. Is that what you want to mean? I saw what some coaches make when uh, when we play against them. Some of them they try to invade the, the the field. Others throwing bottles in the in the in the pitch, on the pitch. So if I say it's difficult to play with against 13, it's it's more hard than 
with the behavior of others. Why? It's because uh, the coach Mariano Barreto said these things. So this is the things it's important also to discuss. Okay. All right, and coach, um, you did also say that um, Kotoko, um, Kotoko is a big name, um, not a big team. And in reference, I mean, you spoke about infrastructure not being at the, at the training grounds and all that. But then the question is that, what did the management of the team tell you when you were coming? And what attracted you to come? Um, I'm asking this because I think I've heard the chairman also speak somewhere where he said that, well, you were told about the current state of the club before you came. And so sometimes they get a bit surprised when you go in public and you make such utterances. Uh, I was told that this national stadium was in the renovation process. Okay, I was told that we have a good pitch, and it's true, we have a good pitch for, for training. And I was told that the infrastructure will be ready in two, three weeks. Okay, when you were coming, when I come, you were told okay. that the infrastructure, yeah. referring to Adakojachi, yeah. to be ready in two, three weeks. In two, three weeks, unfortunately, didn't happen. It caused many problems. I don't know, but I sure. I, tr I, I understand that they, they tried to solve it. But the fact is, the, 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 the infrastructure was not ready. But even this, we didn't have alternative. Understand? And when I'm talking about alternative, I'm thinking especially about the, def the treatments of the players. Okay? Koto when I arrive in Kotoko, we have nine players injured. Nine. Some of them, like Kayake, is five months injured out. Adom, long time out. Osman, long time out. So if you don't have a treatment room, everything becomes difficult. Because normally a situation that you can solve in two, three days, treatment, takes 10 days, 15 days. And there are another question, it's very important. During this year, I couldn't use many players because they have malaria. Okay. And this is one of the key points we have to study in the future. Because it's not possible. We are trying to make the list for the game for Sunday. You are in Friday and in Saturday coming one or two players saying, I have malaria, we cannot play. Understand? You say, but uh, this is normal. Yeah, but uh, I didn't see this in Hearts. I didn't see this in Midyama players. Most of our players, we have yeah, this yeah. kind of problems. We have you malaria. Understand? Yeah. On they, the eve of games. They have malaria. Okay. Is that the reason why when they return to training, after you have played the team game, you told them to go and have uh, more rest by giving them additional five days sometimes, to rest? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Because it's adv it's adv it's adv it's so advice the So how is your relationship the with the players and other technical team members? Top, top relationship. The coach's relation with the team, normally it's a normal relation. But you have to understand, it's like a family. If you are six or seven players, uh, people in your family, your wife, three kids and uh, your, uh, your mother, during the time, you have some conflicts. It's normal. It's normal. If you are training 27 players, if some players are not playing during the time, you have some problems with the players. It's normal. If the players don't understand his position, the relation will come more hard. The coach has to handle all this relation the players have to understand they are professionals. When they sign contract, they have only one duty, is to work hard, to be ready if the coach calls them. This is only the proposal of the players. No, I don't know any club who sign players to be in the first 11. They sign to be ready to play in the first 11. The but who take the decision is the coach. And it's normal, some players, they think, oh, I should play. But look, Kotoko till Hearts match was always in the first position since I come here. I start in the fourth, after he was always in the first, till Hearts match. So that means who are, was playing, was doing well. It's okay. Second thing, one of my decisions when I come here is to play friendly match, to give a chance for the the players who are not playing regularly to have practice. 
So I decided to invite first and second division teams. But after the fourth match, I decided to stop it. You why? know why? Why? <laughs> because we are losing all the matches. <laughs> and, and I say, wow. Well, we are the water teams and yeah. we are losing. So we was leading the league. And the other players who should be ready to play in the main team, they are showing this performance. I decided to finish. First, it wasn't, it wasn't good for the image for Kotoko. It's very strange. We're playing with second division and we are losing. So what that means? Some of these players, they are not playing. It's not only because coach don't want, because effectively, they didn't have, or they, they are not doing, or they don't having the performance needs to play in the main team. So what, what happened? Did the, which issue did you have with La, uh, Latif and Abila that he said until you leave? He was not Look, going to play for Kotoko. It is his problem. It's not my problem. He's a player. He has a right to say he won't leave or stay. It's, it's not a problem. So I mean, moving forward problem. into next year, what happens? Is he staying? I don't know. Or you are leaving? He's a Kotoko well, he player. He says that uh, in as much as you are with Kotoko, you will not play for Kotoko. I said that? No, Latif. So you have to ask him. So <laughs> in the event that you stay, that means he is going. This is his problem. It's not my problem. Okay. <laughs> The la your last question, yeah, then we move on to you. Okay, so um, with all the issues that you raised, um, especially with um, the physio and all these things, have you raised these issues with your management? What have they been telling you? What has been the answer? And what has been the relationship between yourself and your management? The management relation was uh, perfect. They was daily there. It was perfect. So it's not a big issue. They knew everything. And they, the information is they are trying to solve. And I always believe they are trying to solve. That's all. Uh, when you present an issue to them, they tell you they are trying to solve. Yeah. And How do they solve it? Look, uh, I, I won't believe they tried. Okay. They tried? Yeah. But they couldn't solve them? The reality is the, the things are not solved. But it's not because they don't want, I think. It's because... They are trying to solve. They're trying to but solve. But issues are not so, solved. Yeah. But look, you are the coach. You cannot l waste your time with the things are not solved. We have to work with the things you have. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So, after some times, you don't have uh, time to lose it because if you know that the things are not there. So, this is why I never talk about these things. When I talk about this issue, is because I, I was tired to, uh, to, to, to hear uh, the players uh, are not performing well. Why, why, why? Because the people. They cannot understand. Even some guys are saying, why coach changing so much? Maybe they thought I'm stupid. Because if I have the best players, if I'm not using the best players, it's because I'm stupid. And the people have to understand, if I'm not using some players, it's because they are injured, they are sick, or because they have the third yellow card. This is the only way some of them was replaced. Okay, Mr. Uh, Makoutu Bempa, have the opportunity. I'm giving you the platform uh, to ask Kotoko's coach about two, two or three questions for the start. Okay, so I've given you the platform. Okay, two or three questions. Yeah. Um, first, first one will be, um, Coach, when you came and restructured the technical team of Kotoko, your assistant coach was Miguel Bruno. He left... <laughs> and up to date, there's not been any communication from Kumasa Santo Kotoko. One, why he left. Secondly, he never came back and we don't know when he is coming back. Can you give us any information about that? Uh, short one, somebody has brought a test. Uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, it, it says that you claim you do not know where the Kotoko Secretariat is. So where did you sign your contract with the club? In Accra. In Accra. Thank you. At a hotel? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it came from one of our colleagues. I think it's answered. It's okay. Easy. Ask me. The, I will answer. Sure. Okay. Oh, no, uh, no, it came from one of our colleagues message. who couldn't uh, make it to message. me. Ah, thank, so thank you. Thank you. Okay, so coach, what I was asking was um, about your assistance. Okay. Uh, before I came, I, uh, the uh, Nana Ponsa knew that uh, I would like to bring two assistants with me. Okay. One is Pedro. Another was Bruno. Pedro, Pedro comes later because uh, visa issue. Okay. Bruno comes uh, in the same day I came. 
Uh, he stayed here around one month, helping me. He was my student, so he works with me a long time. He, wa he also he helped Ghana when we went to the Olympic Games. Okay. He, he comes to help without any, co any remuneration, so he helped Ghana free. So he comes here and uh, was a, it's a good professional guy. But suddenly he have a private issues in Portugal because he, he, he lives in Angola a long time and he's married with an uh, Angolan citizen woman. And uh, in Angola there are many political changes and he has some properties there and uh, the government are trying to... It's, a, it's, a, it's a personal issues. And he asked me that he needs to go to solve his problems. So this is uh, one of the reasons that he left and after he stayed and uh, we are coming to the end of the season when he solved mo most of his problems and he thought it was not the reason to return and I agree with him. So that's all. It's not, nothing strange, nothing uh, complicated. It's only that. Ms. Mark, are, are you okay with the question? Yeah. Okay. A follow up to that question. Uh, Prof, why is it that for the period that we've been here, none of your assistants sat with you at the bench? Either Miguel or Bruno, none of them sat with you at the bench. Is it mm -hmm. because they didn't have the required documentations to sit at the bench with you and think with you? Pedro was assistant coach in Sporting Club of Portugal. So if you have the requirement to sit in the bench in the European League, how I, you want I answer you? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, coach, my second question is um, this issue about what you were. But, but, but were you okay when he was not sitting on the bench with you so that you could think together? If you claim he has the Look, I'm required team. document to sit at the bench, Look, I'm and he's not been there for four months. Look, I'm team worker, okay? If you say uh, you are. Uh, of course, it's not the same. Okay? But it's not because that I can blame someone. But of course, it was better if he could stay. Okay. You, you, you brought, you brought uh, Bruno. You brought him here to be your assistant and a video analyst. In his absence, who was analyzing your games for you? You were supposed to be the video analyst and you are a trusted assistant. Let's go to the next question. <laughs> so who was analyzing your games for you? <laughs> Look, when you don't have dressing room, when you don't have physio room, you are singing that I have a video room. I don't get you. <laughs> you didn't understand my answer? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> if I don't have an office. Wow. And you manage to work. But I have to work. And you don't have a physio room. But we have to work. We have to fight. Similarly, when we don't have a video analyst, we have to work. And did, this is what we did. Okay. Yes, man. <laughs> um, coach, my next question. Okay. Uh, we are having an interaction with uh, Asano Kodok head coach, Professor Jeronimo Mariano Barreto. We can watch him live or we'll watch his facial cues and expressions on Facebook on Inshira 104.5 FM. What the best manual Barreto and him, and he said they will see the gestures or answer questions. What the two are not the two are the two are not the two are. What the bra Inshira 104.5 FM. So never heard what this one dekakra. Best man who is the best and the best The question. Coach, my next question will be the issue about you not wanting to wear the Kotoko <laughs> fascia shirt. Oh, it's for fantastic. It's a fantastic question. Yeah, for match yeah. days. You look nice in the shirt. <laughs> look at the one on uh, <laughs> Facebook. You look nice in the shirt. Yes, but yes. I don't like to wear it. Exactly. Right? What, what was the issue with it's it? Nice. What was it? You are muscularly built. <laughs> Thank you. It's you look a, nice it's in, a, the, in the shirt. A, oh, I forget. It's nice to you remember me this. It was fantastic. It's one of the biggest moments in my sports life. So, you are a coach of one club, one of the bigger club in Africa and the bigger club in Ghana. You are leading the league. And the talks in Ghana is why coach is not wearing area. It's fantastic. Because normally you should 
talk about the work of the coach and you are talking about the shirt of the coach. It's also important uh, for branding purposes. Yeah. I don't understand why this, but I don't understand. It's not uh, true. I know why. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's no any line in my contract that I should wear this or that or this color or that color. This is number one. Because if it was this in my contract, sure, I will not sign it. Because nobody can tell me what I should wear. Okay? If I, if I want to wear dark, I will wear dark. But I will explain you and all Kotoko supporters. I arrive here and I receive three jersey, red jersey from Kotoko for trainings and for the and official, assignment. for, uh, official assignments. If I have training Friday, the jersey have to go to wash. If I travel Saturday, after I have to wash. So I have only one. Okay? Let's see. I use the third in the match. But there was an, a problem. And this is the most important thing. The problem is, the shirt was red. And the shirt of my players is red. And in the first match, when I use it, the fourth referee come to me and says, Coach, you have to wear the beep. Okay? So, after that, I use my... So, it's, a, it's an easy So, thing. the coaches can some... should, be, should be clear and distinct, and distinct from that of the players. Yeah. But the ones they give you are all red. So, in one of so, the games, you wore it and they said, it's classy with that of the players. Yeah. So, you should use a bib. Yeah. So, in order to avoid so that... So, you see, you see the coach with the bib in the bench? You understand? So, this is why I wear, like today, I'm wearing this. But why? I want to make propaganda for this? No, I don't know. When I wear the things, I, I look the color and I wear. You understand? So, it was very strange, this. And when I saw some, <laughs> some legend guys talking about this, it's only because I think it's an agenda. And I don't want to participate in the, Agenda discussion. Is an agenda against your person or agenda against the club? I don't know. Or I know, but I don't want to talk about that. It's wasting my time and wasting the time of the people who are listening to this. Your, your last question for the first set of questions. Yes, for the first set, I have a lot of questions. But sure. you, let me let me ask this, Coach. Before you came, if you look at the statistics of your club, Kotoko, they have scored around 13, 14 goals. And only one guy, who was the striker, Kwame Poku, has scored our seven of those goals. But you didn't come and meet him at Kotoko because he was old. How did that... But, I, but it's not because of me. I didn't sold him. Yes, yes. That is why I say you didn't meet him. When you were coming. Yes, because he was, he, was, he was already on his way out. How did that impact on the performance of your team? <sighs> okay. I'm the coach of Kotoko. Okay. When the management informed me that they sold Opoko, I understood that it's something important for the club. And as a coach, I have to understand and try to be with the, the decision of the management. This is the team work. Okay. What I was informed for his position to become one top striker, the same level or better than him, a Brazilian who was playing a few years ago in the big team. In, and I was surprised because if he's a big player from Brazil, why he come to Ghana? Mm. But it's okay. I say, wow, it's good because normally the players from Ghana, they want to go <laughs> to Europe. And how, how a big player from outside coming for Ghana? It's not for not respecting Ghana. It's only because of the money. I'm talking about the money, money issues. Mm -hmm. Why do Ghanaian players want to go abroad? Because of the money. To some extent, yes, the money. Why Portuguese players want to go abroad? It's because they will go to win more money. And for me, it was oh, Brazilian guy. 
coming to Ghana. That's okay. What's the surprise? Unfortunately, the boy, the, the player comes, and we check that he is not playing long time. Unfortunately, after he left, you never heard Coach Kotopo talking about this. You know why? Because I should be working with what for the success of the club with what I have. I never talk about nothing about this thing, and even now I'm not talking that. It was because that. So what I did, trying to use the players we have and try to find the solution for the team. And as you said, in 13 goals, he scored seven. Okay? But it's not only that. Opoko, we saw the videos, is making the, play, is making the team playing in different way because he's someone who holds the ball. So... They can make the team longer. And this is very important for the team. If you have problems in the back, you put the ball in the front and the players hold the ball, the team can grow up. This is not peanuts. It's a big detail and change all the things. Look, if you have the ball, you give the ball in front. If the guy loses the ball, so you have to start defending. And all these things create some, we have to look some answers. And we can, we start playing with the three attackers players. And we start scoring. You understand? We start scoring. In the 16th match, when I come here, Kotoko have scored 13 goals, less than one goal per match. This is not statistic. This is facts. Statistics is one thing. Facts is a little bit different. In the next 16 match, we scored 23 without striker. And when I said we have to help these boys, some of them they coming from second divisions, what I would I, I, I'm saying is maybe I didn't explain it well because for us, when you don't play in the Premier League. You play in second division. This is the, the way we, we talk. It's not saying they're coming from second division. It's yeah. second divisions. It's a general. Yeah. What second I, tier. It's second, second tier. tier. Yeah. Exactly. So probably I was not lucky the way I explained that. Because look, Kumi is coming from first division. Osma. Ivan. You understand? So, Osman had played with uh, Ken Faisal the previous year. Yeah, but he, 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 yeah, but he's coming for. Uh, was quite a potato yeah, for the first year. exactly. Samuel coming from. So this is what I, I uh, I'm trying to explain to people. But what that means? They didn't make it well. No, they tried to make well, but it's difference. The status of these players to play in Kotoko. We have to discuss if they really have the status that Kotoko players should have. And this is what I've said. And easily we realize when we are playing, the boys are doing his best. But it was not enough when we are comparing with some strikers we are looking in other teams. But even all these things, we fight till the end to try to win this league. And this is what I said. The people have to support these boys because they did his best. And I'm very proud and happy because most of them they did. You can say there are some problems. Of course, as I told before, all the teams have problems because some players we are expecting more. Some players think they are like Madonna, they don't need to defend, they only want the ball to dribble and lose, and others have to work to recover. But it's a perception of the game. In my team, everybody has to work when attack and when we lose the ball. And if someone don't understand these things, you have a big problems to play. And when <coughs> we are talking about some players who comes outside giving, giving interview, this is not my, pro my, my, my problem. This is a free country. The people have a right to speak, and I have to respect. But there are rules. 
It's written in the contract of the players. They cannot give interview without the permission of the club. So if someone disrespect, should be punished. But this is not my problem. Um, you said when you were coming, uh, Kwame Poku was leaving. Oh, he was on his way out. But he was replaced with three strikers. Safu Taylor, Michael Vinicius, and then Andy Kumi. And with the three, you were supposed to have put them together, probably to get you the goals that Kwame will have given you. Uh, as uh, the gentleman asked me before, in 16 matches, uh, Kotoko scored 13 goals. We, in the 16 match, scored 23 without the Pope. This is a fact. And players like Kumi, like Janfi, like uh, Gama, Gama Apau. Apau, Ganyu, start scoring. And this is the most important thing. Okay, Javier Clemente, yes, yes. let's hear you. Yeah, coach, you, you said you've been here for four months. I, I want to find out the level of cooperation between you and the management of the team. And uh, my you next... Want, sorry? The, the level of cooperation between you and the management of the team. The next one is on whether you've had any interaction with the board of, mem of, the board of directors of the club. Have you interacted with the board of directors of the club? Have you, have you met them ever since you came here four months ago? Like when you have issues and the management is unable to solve, do you take it to the board of directors for the problem to be remedied? Okay, let's uh, step by step. Uh, with the with the management, I have a normal interaction. So uh, I don't have nothing to to say. They, everything I try to ask, I thought they try to answer. Okay, everything they try to ask, I think they try to to do it. For me, like a professional coach, when I think some things are not answered. I understand that it's because they couldn't. It's not because they don't want. This is how I understand. Where is the, the truth? I don't know. But I, I understand that everybody tried to make his best. Like I understand the players trying to make his best. And this is what I want to understand. I want that the people understand that the coach tried to make his best. So I want believe that everybody try to make his best and cooperate with the team. Okay? Because feelings, we can have feelings. One thing is feelings, what is the, the, the reality? And my feelings is, I hope, believe that they tried. With the, the board. With the board. The question with the board, I meet with the chairman of the board before heart match. He asked the team manager to meet with me. He came first time to the, to the hotel. And we have a very gently talk, and he asked permission to talk with the players, and I told him yes. Because Sherman, uh, he comes very friendly with us, okay? He was very gently and he had very good words and I was very happy to knew him. And uh, during all this time, I meet him again. We are talking about some issues and uh, I have the best impression about him. He don't have any interference with our work because we are working with the management. Uh, my, my next one is uh, on uh, the level of communication, uh, the channels of communication between you and uh, maybe the management and the board. Because in one instance, for instance, I think before a Kotoko game, you granted an interview to... Before? Before a Kotoko game, a Kotoko match. Which match? Uh, I think it was in Mbwasi, uh, the, the Chelsea match. Kotoko against Chelsea. Uh, Kotoko against Chelsea. The Africa. The Africa. Ah, the last match. Yes, uh, you granted an interview to uh, a, a media house. And you complained profusely about some of the happenings in Kotoko. Uh, macho men coming to the hotel and... Uh, Not in Kotoko, in the hotel where Kotoko was. Yes, sir. And uh, trying to ask some players before the match and even after the match. And since I'm asking because it, it, it's as if when you, have, when you have a difficulty or when you have a problem, 
I get a sense that you don't you don't have anybody to com to to maybe complain to or to communicate to for them to be out for 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 you to seek redress and uh, for you to have come out the way you came out in public to talk about the things that you talked about. The feeling that I, I, I got at that time was that maybe it's because maybe somebody is not listening to you or you don't have anywhere to go with those complaints that you have. Okay, it's a good question. It's a good question. But I want to ask you with another question. Hmm. If someone, you are the coach, you are in the hotel, if some, I don't know why people say macho men, but uh, let's, let's say some guys, because I think they, they think they are a superman or they have superpowers, they come to the, your hotel where your players are lunching, taking the lunch, coming there to threaten it, your players and your staff. You think this is normal? No. Okay, also me. It's a security lapse, yeah. Okay, also me. You think I should hide this? I'm asking you. No. Okay. But well, what's the surprise? The surprise is why you said it. Because you told me that I shouldn't hide. Well, Second. I let's 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 continue. So, we agree, I shouldn't hide. After you go to the match, but there are one uh, small uh, gap here. I asked team man, the team manager, because I was not there. Why? I wasn't in holidays. I was not there because normally in the day match, I never take a lunch. This is the reason, because why? I wasn't there. I don't know if it was good or bad, because sure, if I was there, it was a big problem. Maybe God make it to I don't be there, okay? My assistant coach told me, coach, we have a big problem. Some guys come here, eight, nine guys, big guys, threaten the players. If you will not win, you will not go alive from the, the stadium. And I asked, how this guy comes there? The security of the hotel didn't work. But that's OK. Let's, I'm not police, so this is not my investigation. I asked team manager, what? and he told me, coach, we cannot make nothing, because if he say something, maybe they will beat us. Because I asked my coaches. Why nobody say nothing? It was better we don't say nothing. The way we, they come there, it was better than nobody say nothing. I say, OK. So we went to the stadium. When we went to the stadium, because I, don't, I, I haven't seen these guys, so I don't know. I went to the dressing room, and as usually, I went to the pitch. This is what I make always. So I went to the pitch and I saw some people around, but it's a normal people around, the securities and all these guys. Pedro, my assistant, told me, uh, I told him, oh, see, there are very strange people here. And say, I think these guys are the same who was threatening us. I say, what? I called Johnson Smith. I said, Johnson. This, this guy are the same who was there? He said, yes. How they are inside? Because it's a restricted area. OK? It's a restricted area. And for me, it was a big, big, big surprise. The same guys who was threatening in the hotel, they was near the dressing rooms. And I said, what? The players come outside to the warm-up, and they blaming the players. Because they was near the dressing room and in the tunnel. And the players, some of them, they come in and say, Coach, it's difficult. I say, it's OK, don't worry. 
they went to the pitch and they are warming me up. I come back. Now I'm saying why it's lucky I was not in the hotel. I come back and I went direct for the guys and I told them, are you happy what you are doing? You are making our players scared. You are for Kotoko fans? I don't think. Kotoko fans is someone who support the team, who comes, who cry when the team win, who cry when the team lose, but always support. This is the supporters. This means supporters. It's like the family. If my son makes something wrong, I can come a little bit disappointed, but after I support my son, this is the, what is the target of the supporters. It's not only dancing when they win and insulting when they lose. This is not supporters. And nobody have a right to insult nobody. Okay? Nobody have. Because you work in the radio. You try to make your best. Nobody have a right to come to you and insulting you because don't like some information that you did. And if you don't understand these things, you are in the wrong place. Football is not this. Football is a fair play. You see what we are looking in the, in the, in the Olympic Games. Fair play. They're working four years. They lose, but after they come and hug the winners. This is the spirit of the, of the game. So I come to these guys and told them, why? What you are doing here? Please leave the place. The boys are scared. And they start shouting and say, OK, you don't want? It's OK. Finish the warm up. The boys go to the dressing room. They was inside, continuing blaming and insulting the players. And I went to the dressing room and I told my boys, if you are not ready, let me know. I will change. I will put another one. This is to fight. We, I talked with the commissioner of the match. It's me who talked with him. And I told him, please, happens these things. Tell the police, because there's no police there. It was no police. Call the police to try to come here, because the players are afraid. It's happened these things in our hotel. And I have to tell you one thing. Thanks for this commissioner, because he called, the police comes and put these guys out. So we start the match. Most of the guy was scared. When the penalties come, the shots to penalty, when I'm asking the list of the players, it was a big problem. Nobody wants to shoot. Because today it's easy to talk about these things, but in that time, the atmosphere is very hard. Why didn't you report to the management of the club? They know. They knew. How did you get to know that they know? Because the team manager told me, and I sent a message for them. The team manager told you that management is aware of the actions being they taken know. by the so-called tax. The team manager talked with the management. Oh, OK. OK. So they know. It's not a, this is not a secret. And what did they do? I don't know. Did they come to talk to you? No. They should calm down? No. No. Just relax, go and play the game. We play the game as I'm telling you. This is the sequence. This is the sequence of the things. OK? When the penalties comes, I told my assistant it will be difficult because all of them, they are scared. So this is what's happened. And when, if I said these things, it's only because I knew that some guys, after really insulting again the players, the coach, and everybody, is only to protect the players. So should I hide these things? No. You know why? That day, maybe, <clears throat> did happen a tragedy. But next time, it could happen. And who will be the responsible? And I talk with the national security about these things. And I talk with the people of JFI about these things. So all they know, and I told them, it's the time to change some things. If you want. If you don't want, I make my job. OK. Ring Adams, let's hear you. Uh, if you have some questions, contributions, 
Well, uh, coach, um, in your early days as the coach of Kotoko, um, you you mentioned that Augustine Okra is the is the most intelligent player amongst the, the, the team or in the team. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't say intelligent. I say one of the best players in his position in Ghana. In Ghana, but subsequently more than that <laughs> <laughs> but subsequently we saw him sitting out of most of the games and um, I'm, I'm asking what was the reason what do you think you're asking me I, I, this is why, why it's important when you are face to face yeah. what do you think i say he is one of the important players and after i don't put him playing oh i'm stupid so, what is the reason? Could it be that he was not giving you the results you want? No, because he's not able to play. Because he's a, he, he have injuries. He was not ready, he was not fit. Unfortunately, he had problems. And we tried to help him. But coming again, if you don't have a place to make treatment, we have to wait the weather change, and waiting the, the summer comes, and after maybe the autumn, and after the winter and pray he did his best but he couldn't do more I was angry with him because we were always expecting more but we have to understand if the players cannot make his best because he have problems what we can do so in the Kotoko team who is your most outstanding player it's not fair I think who is most of them because I received some calls last uh, last week, Dasiru, Christophe, uh, Ganyu, uh, Habib, uh, uh, I don't want to forget, uh, most of them, Apau. 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 Uh, they call me and say, Coach, thank you for, to, for what you did. You are so far better than when you come here. And for me, this is the best gift. Uh, coach, another one. Um, we, we, we all know. Abdul Ghaniu was, was patron Mubarak Yusuf in the central defense. But. Mubarak? Yeah, Mubarak. Yusuf, Mubarak. Ah, Mubarak. Mubarak, ah, yes. Okay, and Ghaniu okay. have been playing as the central defensive pair. Mm. But in the last seven, eight games, we didn't see Mubarak again. Mm. Um, what informed the decision? It's a technical first, it's a technical, tactical decision. Okay? Uh, Mubarak, uh, when we have a pal, a young boy, he make what you want, what the coach wants. A central defense, confident, who don't, who is not afraid to hold the ball, who give good pass, who is strong in the tackle, who answer what you request. I have to ask only one thing. Anyone missing Mubarak instead of Apau? No one. No one at all. I think even his father will not say he should play instead of Apau. <laughs> okay? But I can you answer in other, asking you one question. If you are the coach, okay? And he, he realized that the player coming to the training and is making jogging with the phone in your hand, what you will do? Uh, well, I'll, I'll sanction him. Uh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> I never, look, I'm 35 years professional coach. I never saw a player training with the phone, talking in the phone and training. Okay? I'm telling these things, you know, because this kind of behavior should be spread because it's not acceptable. This is why, this is another reason why Kotoko have to take care about the profile of the players who belongs to the team. 
is an and, and, and professional behavior. It's not acceptable. Even I don't think the college team boy is making this. In one of your interviews, you did say that, uh, specifically, it was a pre-match, when Kotoko was about playing Brickham Chelsea, you did say that um, a day before the game against Chelsea, you were told by management that Augustine Okra cannot play, um, citing contractual issues. And you said, that is not the only time a certain thing has happened to you. When Kotoko was about, about playing Liberty Professional at Suga Kope, Management informed you about five minutes to the start of the game that Emmanuel Jemfi cannot play because of contract. It is issues. not true. It's not five minutes before the match. It was uh, five minutes before the meeting of the match. Five minutes before the meeting. My meeting with the players. With the players. Okay. Three hours before the match. So, now did that happen? <laughs> it happens. Unfortunately, it happens. It couldn't happen, as you see. But you can't use these players because their contracts course, have expired. Have... This is the information I get. They told you their contracts have expired. Yeah. But is it true? As of that time, those I don't know. Players... Uh, I have to. Uh, I have to believe in the information of the people who are working with me. But in the same time, when I talk with the players, they told me that the, the contract is expiring in 31st. As of that time, the contracts have not expired. In the opinion of the players, no. In the opinion of the players? Yeah. No, contrary to that of information given you by management. The information of management is that the contract was expired. Can you give us some specific dates? That of Okra <sighs> and that of Jemfi? Okra, uh, Jemfi was in the May, I think he's uh, 16. 16th of May. And uh, Jemfi told me that his contract was expired, expiring in 31st of May. May. So he was able to play. And this is important because uh, Liberty match, uh, when we play Liberty match, uh, Jamfi is one of the, he was in the, in the top the, moment, yeah. he scored two goals, he was in a very good shape and this affect too much the team because we have good 11, 12 players to so make a good 11 player, the first 11. After the substitute is not so, not in the same level. They are different, but not in the same level. And uh, for us, I think this starts the change of our team. Because we drew this match, we didn't have any option because Samuel Frimpong played in this match. Like a winger, he's a, he's a defender. And uh, he's affected us because he was the captain. And nobody expecting, we do all the week working to play. But I did bring this like excuse i didn't say nothing about that so on the and system, with ukra mm -hmm. it comes is the same is uh, 25 i think the match is we played 25th uh, the and last match is 25th no we played with the uh, it was the chelsea game chelsea game 27 yeah the 17th 17. 17 and uh, i was told that uh, contract was expired and I asked Kukra he said no the contract expired 31st so why would somebody tell you that that the players contract have expired because uh, which in, in reality they've not expired I don't know why I think they they told me because they believe that was the the truth is it an attempt that they didn't want the team to win I don't want to think like that C can it be uh, an act of negligence on the part of management I don't want to think about that. I want to think that they was sure the contract expired. But with your interaction with the players, they told you as of that time, their my contract was not expired. I'm the coach. I have uh, the, the right to ask my players. <laughs> I cannot only take one information. I have to, this is why I'm the coach. I have to try to check. It's like the journalist. You have to make the facts check. Unfortunately, most of you don't make it. I'm not saying you inside here. Most Kotoko supporters have the view that Kotoko lost the league because uh, Kotoko lost the game against <coughs> Accra out of work in Accra. And it was as a result of your poor selection that made the team lose that game. You made Fabio Gama play a false nine. Yeah, but this is, look, you know, when the people 
won't say what they want. We cannot discuss these things. Who says? And there are some some uh, <laughs> some people suppose. Suppose no. Some people think they are legends, saying that uh, Gamma play uh, false number ten. I don't understand what is false number ten or f false number nine. I don't know this position. Gamma play like number ten okay. in the game against us, and we play with two attacker players, like always we play. Jamfi and Damako, no? And uh, Gamma is an offensive midfielder, is his position. So only someone who wants... <laughs> who wants... I don't know, I, I don't want to say who wants. Only who didn't see the game, who don't understand football. Or... have a second intention, can say Gamma play a false number nine. It's not, there's no number, false number nine position in football. Mm, we've seen Spain playing set fashions. We've seen Pep Guardiola playing set fashions. No false number nine. There's no false number nine. What is the technical term for that? It's role? a 4 three, 3 You have three attackers players. You can use the players moving if the guy in the middle go to the left or right side, but they are attackers. It's not false. It's, don't exist false. It's true or it's not true. It's real. Oh, it's false. Wait, what is false? What means false? So you play a 4-3-3. Three, three, so three if a Pau make a goal, is a false attacker? That means he's a false attacker. A Pau is a central defender. In the corner comes and make goal. He's a false attacker. In the counter-attack, one, mid one midfielder come and make goal in the position of number nine. Is a false number nine? No, this is a dynamic of the game. Okay. Football, mm -hmm. football is not static game. It's a dynamic game. The players, they're moving and they know if someone make this movement, he have to make another move. They make the compensation. This is why the disciplined teams, they have more chance to win than the, play, the teams who play in the uh, uh, anarchic way. You understand? And since I'm here, I tried Kotoko plays in the right way. You are talking about uh, Hearts match. I saw it yesterday. The best chance of the goal is coming from Kotoko. Ukra, Ukra, Gamma, and Asma in the free kick. Do you remember clear chances of the goal of Hearts? They put long balls there. Okay. Goalkeeper Some... save it. Our central defenders save it, so that's 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 the fact. The other things, when you lose, you can bring all the excuses you want, but you have to go and see the match. You played against oh, seven. Uh, this is the moment Gamma lose the 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 goal. So th this means is a false number. Nine. No, this is because the movement it comes there. Okay, at your moment, Facebook, now my share, my own to etch a tactics. Our the Kotoko has given what teaching me to the bra Facebook. Never have a share and all teaching. Same Muna, a day coaches. Yes, sorry, and your coaches. The end of the so quite new one day. Prof, you played against 17 teams in the Premier League. Which side will you define or describe as the toughest side you faced? Tougher? Yes, the tough team you played against in the league. Now, the best, the best team we play is. Now, uh, with any doubts, is hearts. Hearts of folk. Yeah, and uh, I have I, I have to to use this moment to congratulate them because I didn't have a chance. They win the league because they was a team who who make more points than any other teams, and they it's fair to say these things. So congratulations for them, and I have to use this moment also to say thanks for the supporters of Kotoko in America who paid our fine for the the Jeffia from the yeah. coach and from Jeffy because I didn't have a chance to tell them because it becomes a complicated uh, times and from my heart really I appreciate what they did and this is what make me feel happy in this bigger club it's really a big big club 
Okay. So, Coach, um, looking at the current circumstances that we are, we are working under, no physio room, no video room for analysts and all that, for analysis and all that, if, if the circumstances do not change, would you want to stay on for next season? Thank you for your question. Uh, let's come a little bit before. All these things you said is not excuse. I never bring this for excuse. When I'm talking about these things, it's because if Kotoko wants to be consistent and he wants to be a leader in Ghana football, should solve these problems. This is why I talk about this. Second part of your question, I will be not available to continue working in the same way we finish this league. It's not possible. What does that mean? That means... You will not be available to work in the same conditions you worked last year. Of course. What does that, that mean? That means it will be, I will be insulting myself if we, I continue working without dressing rooms, without physio rooms, without office. Without, this is a minimum that a professional, a, a coach, should be request to make a job. We normally we say, and I'm, I'm saying normally, once you can make it, if you make two, it's because you accept it. So if it doesn't change, so, so it, if they don't finish that, that could be a cheap project, that means you can't insult yourself. Uh, uh, look, I'm not looking for a Daco Jackie. I'm looking, I have to have dressing rooms, I have to have physio rooms, I have to have gym, I have to have office, I have to have a place where I can bring my players and say, look, what you did in this match. This is the, the most important things when you are working and when you are building something, to try to correct what you did wrong. So if these things are not solved, will be not solved, what I'm doing here? I'm a professional coach. I'm not coming here looking a job. I don't need it. At all, I don't need it. I'm very proud to be here. But I'm here, I have one proposal to help. To help is giving my personal contribute in the development. And if the club don't think it's important to have youth teams, if the club don't look about these cares, what I'm doing here? I heard some guys, oh, but other guys working, this is not my problems, what others are doing. It's not my problems. I'm not coming here from the desert. I'm a professional coach, I have my career. I help your country, not only me, but I'm one who help your country. I come here because I would like to continue help, because for me it's very strange a fantastic country with fantastic talent. players and talents. What's wrong? What's going wrong? This is, this is a challenge who make me come here. So continuing in the same way, there are a thousand of coach will be happy to be here saying I'm coach of Kotoko, but this is not my case. Well, in that circumstance, Will you, will you call for a termination of the contract or you expect the club to sack you? Look, the contracts in the older part of the world, they have a beginning <coughs> and there are a hand. <coughs> the hand can happen for my request or for the request of the club. If I think there's no condition, I will be the first to talk with the board and say, I'm losing my time here, and I'm making you wasting your time. As I told you, anyone can be a coach. If be a coach is only coming in the weekend, weekend choosing the players and put in the game, or doesn't care about how the players will be treated, uh, without any 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 cares about his. Uh, clinical situation and if you don't have the other equipment that we require required what I'm doing here doesn't make any sense
I'm not beginning my career. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, Pedro, Pedro is here. Sorry uh, if I'm getting personal. Somebody has sent a tester. Uh, uh, please, find out from uh, Coach. Is it true that uh, uh, Pedro lost the father uh, some months ago? And as we speak, no Kotoko official has called him to probably sympathize with him. I know that if I'm getting personal, I think it's a test message. Is who, who should answer this? Me or Pedro? I, 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 can he speak English? Yeah, he understands very well. Yeah. Pedro, Pedro, come closer to the microphone. Uh, sorry, is it true that you lost your father? Yes. When did that happen? It happened on the 17th June. 17th? 17th June. Of June. Uh, have, you, have you informed the management about it or the board about yes. it? And have they called to sympathize with you? No. No one. Right no. from 17th? Until today, today, no one. Ah. Are you sure? Yes. That if you lost your real father? Yes, my father. I only have one father. <laughs> <laughs> and you reported to management on the 17th of June? I reported. Not the, coach, I report. You the told your report. boss to report to management. I told them. <clears throat> yes. You told them. Yeah. Who did you tell? Specifically. Yeah, his father is dead. He's dead. You told who? I told management. That Pedro has lost the father. Yeah. On the 17th of June. Yeah. And as we speak, no official has called to sympathize with him. You heard what Pedro said. No. Huh. But let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. It was a test message. Okay. No, because some people, uh, it's easy to crucify, to blame, to insult, but the people don't know what, what we live. You understand? The people don't know what we live. And some people don't like to discuss the real things. The real things is not spreading fake news. It's like what I said about the, the, the shirt of the coach. What is this important? This is important, discussing these things. The important thing is, wow, this coach of Kotoko have these things to work. Let's see with these things what he could do and what he failed. Mesma, it's, it's, it's easy. Like, I don't know whether you're getting it. Yes, I, I, I'm here working with multimedia. I've lost my father. father. And then nobody has called Zimbabwe with you, let alone how you are putting things together. But, Charlie, best man, you come. Yes, um, coach, just as in Portugal, um, there are strong rivalries in football. And those rivalries will always come to the fore when it comes to supporters and their discussions about the direction of the club that they do support. So, for instance, in Portugal, you can cite examples of FC Porto, Sporting Club de Portugal, and all that. After the season, a lot of Kodoko supporters will call us on that show, and their grievance will be, you are discussing the House of Oak, and you are discussing the players that they want to recruit, you are discussing about their project for next season, how they want to beef up their team, and all that. But when you discuss Kotoko, it's about seek, it's about <laughs> Sarantin, it's about some political gimmick from one interview to the other. Do you get the feeling with the supporters that comparatively, Koroko is losing some direction? Look, I start this uh, nice talk with you. You give me a chance to explain some things. I'm not talking individual things, okay? Because individual things I talk directly with, directly with the people and I already did it. Uh, I tried to explain you, because Kotoko is a big family, and we have to respect. And if I say something here, it's not good for Kotoko family. Yeah. At all. And like a family, we cannot talk outside the problems we yeah, have We, we can't wash uh, yeah. uh, that okay. outside. Right? I don't, I'm not the guy who contributes for these things. Uh, when I come here is to talk about what happens in the football. When I start talking about national teams, uh, how I make it when I was here, 
And when I'm saying what protocol I have to do to be a big team, I give him you the answers. The people cannot live always thinking, I was champion. This is a museum. This is the past. Should be proud of the past. But you cannot be inside the past. Because the life continues. We have to make upgrade. I heard it's funny. Someone say, ah, in my time. It's okay. But why you buy iPhone now? Why you don't use the roof to communicate? This is a development. Today you have LCDs. A few years ago, you don't have TVs. You cannot say, in my time, we make this. It's okay, but it was in your time. Now, if you want to compete, you have to upgrade. If you don't upgrade, you will. It's possible we win. It's a miracle. It's like a lottery, but you, you can win lottery once. But if you work in the right way, the probability to win is coming more and more. Some people think, wake up and let's pray. If I pray, I will be happy and lucky. Everything will come. But they forget, others also pray. But others pray and work. And the guys who pray and work, the chance to be succeeded, of course. It's like 100%. In football, it's the same. You have a big heritage, your past. You represent a big region. You represent a big nation. As I told you before, any place of Ghana, there are one Kotokofa. For me, it's funnier. I walk. I daily go to the mall, people coming to take pictures, people coming to support, and I'm thinking like, this is not the people who insult us in the, in the social media. Because only the cowards using the social media to insult others, they don't give the face. And when we see the profile of these people, all of them study University of Life, shows clearly who you are. Because if you are real, the supporters is the guys we meet, the guys who comes to the, the training at Achi Jacob. And they know what we are doing. And they know exactly what are going on. So when, when I'm talking these things, it's not because me, it's because Kotoko, I think this is the way Kotoko have to f start thinking, to start with the youth development, have to bring... I don't understand why Kotoko don't have four, five hundred kids playing, making tournaments, bringing, as I told, I don't want to repeat, but I have to, tell, uh, to talk about these things, why former coaches, former players from, are not invited to join Kotoko to bring this new atmosphere. You cannot lose time. Because if these boys are not in Kotoko, they are in other clubs. <laughs> if they sign with other clubs, easily they will be transferred for Hearts, Midyama, after it will be expensive. So let's start again now. Don't talk, I'm the, ki uh, I'm the, I was champion. It's okay, it's good you are champion, but you have to make everything to continue to be champion. Okay? So, I think the people have to understand, this is my message, and what I'm telling you, I already told the, the board. I own some salaries or bonuses. Say again. I owned, that's got to go own you some salaries or bonuses. This is a private issue. A private issue. Okay, 16 more questions for you, but first, let's listen to this. <laughs> 